hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question three from your tutorial sheet two msm 111 so here for you guys who have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so as early as quick as possible because um so you you end up uh, missing things that are very important to you and uh, that may help you on your exams only those that have subscribed to the channel receive notifications that i've uploaded a new video so at one point i may even stop uh, posting these videos on the telegram group and uh, uh, and and, uh, in, and in the whatsapp groups so only those that have subscribed will be able to access them all right so we quickly begin the question is telling us that uh, verify that the two given functions are inverse of each other so first of all you need to know uh, what is an inverse function an inverse function is uh, denoted by f inverse of x or g inverse of x or any letter inverse of x yeah so that is an inverse function so it, this is how you denote a, a, an inverse function and then you need to understand uh, one thing again uh, to say an inverse function is just a function that when you replace uh, the values of x in the set of the domain you get the range and then you, you get the range yeah and then after replacing that range in the val in in the place in the places of x in that give in, in the given function of an in the inverse given function you get the, the what's this the domain all right let, let me just uh write what i'm trying to say here let me just uh, change the color okay so we begin so we've been given to say um uh, we've been given this function here f of x is equal to 5x minus 9 so how do we know to say this g of x uh, is equal to x plus 9 over 5 is an inverse of that you test it how do you test it you say let you say let y be equal to let y be equal to 5 x you get one function there so we want to show that this this function here i mean this function this side is an inverse of this other function so let y be equal to that so our y so here our main aim is now to make x the subject of the formula you make x the subject of the formula how do you do that first of all you find the additive inverse of this negative nine or in other words uh, the way you say it yourselves, you say take this negative 9 to the other side of the equal sign. So this is going to be y plus, it will be a positive 9 now, is equal to 5x. So this can also be written as 5x is equal to uh, y plus 9. Then you divide both sides by 5, even this side by 5. So meaning your value of x there will now be equal to uh, y, y plus 9 over 5. Y plus 9 over 5. Yeah, so meaning if we are to find, if we are to, uh, to write this as an inverse function, we say, Therefore, f inverse of x is equal to, where there is y here, change put x. So it will be x plus 9 over 5. So f inverse of uh, uh, x is equal to x plus 9 if it's just the same as that so meaning you also include it this side which is equal to uh, g of x you put your g of x this side this side here this g of x here all right so this is how simple these questions are 
yeah they are very simple you don't need to stress when uh, when answering them you don't need to stress okay so here down there you you even write to say hence shown since you have oh sorry you've been told to verify therefore you just say hence verified you write it down there to say hence verified all right let's quickly move on to the next question okay so this other question now is telling us to say so we have verified we are done with the first question we move on to the next question so here I'm, I, I, I don't think I'm going to answer all the questions from here because if I can if you can manage to solve this one meaning you can also manage to solve this one this one is just like the opposite of this it's almost the same they, they have just changed the numbers but the things are almost the same so you can try on your spare time on your own you can try this one let me maybe write this one I'll do this one yeah even this one I know maybe people once they look at this they will be confused thinking maybe they have seen hell no this is simple it means okay I'll explain what it means let me let me first solve this one so you can manage to answer this one here do it on your own if you are doubting your answer you can forward it to me on whatsapp or on my email i'll tell you whether it's correct or not so we we start with this one so we let y again so you let y be equal to x to the power 3 uh, x to the power 3 plus 1 so make uh, x the subject here so to make x the subject <coughs> excuse you are going to take this positive one to the other side of the equal sign you are going to have something like this you are going to have something like this y minus 1 is equal to uh, x to the power 3 so to make x the subject here you find the cube root So you find the cube root of uh, y minus 1. So the, the your value of x there, I mean the f inverse of x will now be equal to the cube root of where there is y there you put x and then you say minus 1 then is this equal to g of x yes so if it's equal to g of x you say it's equal to g of x so here the question is telling us to verify meaning they know to say the answers are correct these answers are correct hence you just have to show them to say this this is what it gives all right so let me just explain oh this is so you can even write down there to say hence verified you know it's difficult to write using this uh, thing hence you finish it up hence verified you finish it up like that so let us quickly move on to the last question this one is saying f of x is equal to 1 over x minus uh, x minus 1 where x is greater than 1 so this is just a condition telling you to say x should not be uh, less than x should not be less than 1 and then same applies to this it's a condition to say if x is uh, if uh, I mean here to say x is greater than 0 it's just a condition yeah so these should not confuse you they shouldn't come confuse you yeah so actually these are what we are calling domains these are what we call domains so let us uh, now see that question again you you let this uh, be equal to y so 1 over x minus 1 be equal to y like that so you cross multiply there you're going to have y multiplying with everything there as the denominator is equal to 
1. So what you do here, you can divide by, I mean, you are we are trying to make x the subject of the formula. So what you can do here is uh, you can divide by y first. Or if you don't want to divide by y, you can first uh, you, you, you can first multiply it through by y. So you're going to have x times y to give you x y, then minus y times one there you get y, and then this is equal to one. So you take this y to the other side of the equal sign. You are going to have uh, x y this side being equal to uh, 1 plus y so here you divide both sides by y so that you just remain with x so you're going to have your x being equal to uh, you can start with y there is no problem plus 1 over y so meaning your f inverse of x So f inverse of x will be equal to what is y there you put x. Over x like that. So this is how this is how you solve these questions. So if you see that this is equal to that, you can put which is equal to g of x and then you even write down hence verified so these are this is how you solve such questions yeah this is how you solve such questions they are simple and straightforward you don't have to be stressing yeah for you to solve this so we solved this is a and then we have these are b's they are they are all b's i'm surprised there are two a's and two b's all right so thank you very much for watching to this tutorial yeah so just make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the next videos that i'm going to be yeah that i'm going to be posting all right uh click on that button which says subscribe just down on the screen there you f you see it say subscribe click on that button so that every every single uh solution that i send on this uh, platform you'll be able to access it Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.